How's everyone doing today? I made it. Wasn't sure if I was going to be streaming today, but, um... I decided I wanted to, so I am. Uh, it probably will be a shorter one, because as I mentioned yesterday, I do have the first dose of my vaccine to get to. So, um, want to make sure I don't miss that. Because it was a giant pain to uh, get that <laughs> appointment scheduled at all. I mean, I shouldn't say giant pain, but like California is uh, a densely populated area. And um, I had to go through my insurance website, which took forever to load because it was getting bombarded by people trying to schedule their appointment, which then routed me to the pharmacy website which also, like, I had to wait more than 15 minutes in an online line just to uh, schedule my appointment. But that is past me now. I've got both doses scheduled, and um, should be good. Just turns out that uh, we don't exactly have the infrastructure in place to uh, deal with this type of situation. So if that wasn't already apparent... <laughs> Hey, Al. Glad you're getting vaccinated. Me too. It's, uh, like, I'm the last... Because my... My brother and sister-in-law are teachers, so they are, like, a uh, higher priority. So I'm, like, the last person in my family. I've got a lot of friends that work in healthcare. And so, like, I'm, like, one of the last people I know to get vaccinated. So a lot of, like, family and uh, friend meetups are kind of... Um, Waiting on me, it seems. Infrastructure, shame no, someone, no one's trying to do anything about that. Yeah, but what even is infrastructure? Uh, what is this? This is a Reno deck. That word's too big for me to understand, so I'm just going to get mad about it. Giggity 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 goo, hello to you, and uh, welcome Yako and Matthias. People here are seeing Americans do full stadiums, and so they think we're over it. Are are we really doing that? I saw an article recently talking about um, post-COVID statistics, and I was just like, wait, post-COVID? Did the author write this from their time machine? Hey, Kenny. How did the vaccine go? I've, uh, it's later this afternoon, so uh, it'll be a short stream. Uh, and then I'll go get to that. Have you seen the uh, new All Gas No Breaks? You mean the Channel 5? <laughs> yes, I have. Um, that's, the, that, that's from uh, Tim and Eric's uh, production company too, right? Which is like two worlds colliding... that I didn't know I needed. I know that uh I know that Tim Heidecker's production company picked them up because like they he made a point to say that the shenanigans with the, the all net all gas no break pages had nothing to do with him and that they're going to continue their project and I think Channel 5 is their projects. Yeah, absolutely. It's also weird that, like, when they're piping fan noise into stadiums with, like, cardboard cutouts of people. Like, that was just kind of creepy. Like, you can just have an empty stadium. That doesn't change the, the interaction for me as a viewer. I don't know. Hey, Science Daddy. Hey, Meothness. Well, I've got good news for you, because we've got another Reno deck ready to go right now. I thought it was cute. Uh, I don't know. It was like a laugh track for me, and I am not a fan of laugh track. So it just, like, like it sounded... It was clear that there, there weren't people there, so it just, like, I don't know. It's kind of the uh, Uncanny Valley type thing, where it's close enough to reality to spook you a bit. 
So maybe that was my uh, my issue with it. All right. Enough rambling. Got limited time today, and uh, this deck may have some difficulty winning. Hey, Devin. Is there a viable Reno Druid? Um, yeah, probably involving uh, Yashira and Corrupt mechanics, I would imagine. It's just more a reminder that things are different. Yeah, and it would be a more startling reminder, I guess, if it were an empty, silent stadium. So there's that. I don't know. I don't have a better solution for it. <laughs> so maybe I should uh, quit my complaining. Is there worse things going on? All right, folks, the deck is Death Rattle Reno Demon Hunter. The goal of the deck is to play high value Death Rattles. We can get there with the help of Death Speaker Blackthorn and then bring them back with Nazoth the Corruptor, which gets drawn off of Talon Fordrain. We have also got some great value generation with Zai the Incredible to ensure that we get a multiple waves of wide boards. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Ooh, all right. Good start. Good start. That was a that was a one cup of coffee intro too. So must have gotten a good night of sleep last night. Oh, already off to the mage stone. Hmm. This isn't bad in the outcast slot. Um, but I think I need better early game against mage. I'll keep the cartoon defender just because it maybe helps me survive against secret mage. But I think the reality is I don't have a chance against um, APM mage, so let's hope it's not that. Look who it is. I think we just uh, bash him in the face here. Okay. GG. Uh, I don't even have a Lothab in my deck, so yeah, that's GG. I should probably just move on. Again, I don't have a win condition here. My deck is way too slow. And their start is way too good. New Biddle still deck, spell back with Priest and Wild. I think I have before, and so yes, it's possible. Uh, there's probably a decent uh, APM deck in that like uses uh, Auctioneer and uh, Radiant Elemental, very similar to one that I posted not too long ago. Hey, John. Hey, Danny. Hey, Stun Gun. Just concede. I think that's probably a good way to go. Like, I, I again, if it's uh, APM Mage, I cannot win. So, might be a trend if we keep queuing into this deck. Any ideas for a Gonk Druid? Um, I mean, not anything new. Uh, I don't think Gonk Druid has really gained much in the past few expansions. Coin and Cancer Slot? No, this is Secret Mage, right? Beautiful. Hey, 115. Glad you're liking the YouTube. And uh, welcome to the stream. Okay, this is a winnable matchup. So you love to see that. It's good into explosive, but um, kind of slow. The point of that is more to get pulled up. I didn't uh, have a follow up there. That is really good. I don't want that getting counterspelled, and the next turn I have uh, Warblade's hero power, so I feel like that's better than getting a Bran out right now. 
a wide board is more difficult than a uh, narrow one for the opponent. I could also go here. I think I would rather play this as my first minion after the secret comes down. Um, largely because of the uh, potential for explosive. So that means I'm probably taking some damage right now or in the near future. So I think I want to go Warblades, Hero Power, Face to heal the full and just trade these down. Get some Vengeance going. Um, that means we don't test for Flame Ward, but then we can, if it is Flame Ward, this gets popped anyway, so. And we get a little bit of Neth value. I intend to deceive. Yep. Here's the test for the payoff. Beautiful. Just like we drew it up. I've got the potential for a brand Zai, but I think that's maybe too greedy. I might just go with a Zai hero power next turn, depending on. I feel like we're in a good spot. I would have liked to have gotten the card draw, but I'm not too upset about it because I have card generation with this, so I probably just play the Zai next turn. Got a decent amount of healing. Um, I think I can send that upstairs to test for... Ooh. Uh, test for Flame Ward. We're just getting endless uh, Neths here. That's my game plan. There we go. Job done. I don't really care about that uh, Cabal Lackey so much. I can deal with it eventually, but um, I need to be careful not to bran uh, a banker because... The that creates problems for the Reno. Next turn, I can just try and brand the Neth, and then I don't think it matters. But there maybe was an argument for going face. Honestly, I was just a little bit confused by the uh, mask. There, there hasn't been a duplicate yet, so it could be Reno. An incredible discovery. Want to go face here first, and then make a decision. Oh my god, what an 8 drop. Oh my god! I'm so glad I did that. And yeah, I wanted to test for Explosive again. That's why I killed the uh, Acolyte first. We might have given them another rigged fair game, but I've got a pretty good board here. So, there's that. The enemy is Diamond 1. Just give up, dude. Uh, but I'm winning the game. Why would I give up? The opponent's playing Seeker Mage. With the Legend card back, I think they're fine to get Legend in the near future. For the Empress. Play more just fine. Mm -hmm. 
Vadimus Prime, thank you for the three months. Uh, I don't think I want to... Like, it's awkward if that's Counterspell, and I just go all face into Chaos Nova. So I think I'm just going to take my trades here. Hmm. Go here and here. But first, I'm going to play this. Well, that is... Uh... That is some cost reduction that we have now. It's possible I could have pop popped the block there. But I don't think I want to die to the backswing. So, like, it left me super exposed to a um, an ice block. Uh, counter lethal, which should be much more difficult now. I intend to Seen one cloud prince zero fireballs, but we're if we end the turn at twenty one, we can't lose. So, unfortunately, it looks like the opponent's never gonna end their turn. Oh, there they go. Well, I guess it was an ice block. APM Mage is so oppressive, the chat is already feeling sympathy for Seeker Mage just pushing for Legend. I mean, again, like... <laughs> yeah, I... Giving somebody free wins is, uh, well, I'm pretty sure against the TOS, for one thing. For another, I don't really want to do that um, against any deck. Alright, well, let's uh, hope it's not APM Mage, because if it is, we will concede. I was it against the TOS? I've never heard that. Like, win trading? I'm pretty sure that that would, uh... Break our Blizzard's TOS. You think Big Priest is still good? Yeah. I mean, it gets farmed by uh, APM Mage. Okay. No, their Secret Mage is fine. Let's see if we can get an I Beam here. It's probably better than the card draw. A lot uh, that gets farmed. By APM Mage? I wouldn't say a lot, but like... Anything relatively slow. Then just uh, equip a weapon here and then get a Kazamicus. What a world when you would rather fight Secret Mage over APM Mage. Yeah, I mean, it's just the nature of my deck, right? Like, I do not have a win condition against APM Mage, but I do against uh, Secret Mage. I'm looking for a few 
This is probably going to get blown up. I might need to go face just to play around fair game. Get a five. Rush and... Um, sure. At least I get some healing now and... Um, I just want to... Deny free card draw here. Sometimes aggro like Kingsman can get farmed by AP image. Yeah, I mean, it, like that's the benefit of the Waker version is that you you do kind of have game against um, or better game against aggro. Funk. Wait, what? Doesn't look like I'm attacking in the near future, so I might as well get that in. And I don't think I want to uh, get this frozen, so I'll hold. It just been really broken and wild for like three years. I think that is not the case. I'm late. I'm late. I think that is an exaggeration. Think you misspelled priest? I think you definitely misunderstood <laughs> or are misremembering. What? It wasn't until recently that priest was even a class in Wild. Secret Mage was a decent deck, yeah, but it was not oppressive until um like Flak Mage Flame Ward started becoming a thing. A fair game Sage took it over the top, but like I don't know. I think people have kind of poor memories when it comes to the um, historic power level of decks. Um, I'm just going to use the Zai here to get more Kartute Defenders and then just kill the uh, Water Ellie. This probably means that they're getting cards from Fair Game. Maybe I don't even kill the Water Ellie then. And I just go face to deny the Fair Game. Because they probably want to make this trade. Fair game was the last nail in the coffin. It was the combination between fair game and sage. I don't think fair game alone would have been enough to carry. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah. I mean, now they probably have to trade into the five two, right? Otherwise, they lose their. Yeah. Or can I get a code for this deck? Like, one or two messages above that one. We've got pretty good healing here. There will always be a best deck in a competitive game right now. Everyone is concerned about AP Mage, just like they were with Reza. Yeah. That's another conversation we have a lot, is that, like, the best deck is inevitable, as is people hating that best deck and assuming that it's the worst deck that's ever decked. So. It's kind of a bummer if this gets counterspelled, but... Probably needs to be done here. Weird scene. Previously oppressive decks like Quest Mage become completely irrelevant over time. I think, I mean, it's more that Quest Mage is kind of adapted into what we now see as uh, APM Mage, right? Wait, they just lose their... Oh, wait, no. That was uh, previous turn. All right, let's go here. Test for counter. Like, the the thing about quest mage is, like, mage just has so much mana cheat now, it doesn't need the extra turns, which is absurd. This is all really obvious stuff that has indeed been known since Hearthstone and even card games' existence. Yes? 
yes, but like everyone always ends up with a surprise Pikachu chip face like anytime something happens. We have many secrets. I think that's unlikely. Oh, it can't be counterspell, so <laughs> say goodbye to your board here, I suppose. Uh, let's go here first. No, if it's explosive, which is likely. I think I'd rather do this. I'm gonna need an Azoth in the near future. That helps. I think. So I probably do need to Reno here. Unless we find something better. Oh, I really wanna get that tail end down. But it can't be this turn. I think next turn is uh, Talon Bran, or Bran Talon. It doesn't matter anymore because of uh, the fact that we've seen both explosives. Nazoth might be too slow with this setup. It's Hunter, the only class that has never been oppressive in Wild. Um, from memory, maybe? Like, it's A-class. It hasn't been. These are double fireball I lose. Shaman? Even Shaman was the best deck for a while. People don't remember it because it played fair-ish. Pirates actually been oppressive or just good? It's been, uh, again, it's been the best deck for a while. I don't know. It depends on how you define oppressive people have. Different opinions on that. Nazari? I don't think Nazari is a reliable game plan in this situation. I think we just need, I think it's more likely that we just uh, hope that they don't have burn. Already used a fireball? Yeah, they've used a fireball and a cloud print, so it's not likely that both of these cards are uh, burst. So I think this is the best uh, I have right now. And I do get a fair amount of healing off of it into a uh, Nizoth, which uh, if they don't show the burst this turn, that means they don't have it, which means that um, the Nizoth should stabilize. Okay, that was one of the two cards they were holding. How much? I'm gonna hit here, even though it's less damage efficient, just on the off chance that it's duplicate. Okay. Plays two fireballs? Well, yeah, no, I'm I'm aware. But like they need both of them to be fire, uh, Cloud Prince and Fireball, which is not likely. <laughs> now we draw the Zola. Okay. I see how it works. I want to damage these in case it's Flame Ward so that when I do go face, it gets me more healing. 
Easy. Seems pretty good. Well, at least we can beat Secret Mage. Did Cutlass Rogue get any better this expansion? Um, probably not. Probably got worse because people are putting bad cards in it. Um, I think it <laughs> it gets better because of the change to Swashburglar in the core set as well as um, the addition of um, new Vanessa Van Cleef. So APM is the best deck in Wild. Uh, seems that way. I don't. I don't think we know for sure right now. I mean, Corbett got double one with it. A lot of other people have been taking and holding rank one legend with it, so it appears that way. I think stats may bear out a different story because it is a difficult deck to pilot. I think it's one of the rare cases where... Um, Go with honor, friend. Not even well met. SMH my head. Uh, it's one of the rare cases where, like, the act, like, it probably has a higher win rate at um, higher ranks because it is uh, difficult to play, especially the uh, the Flame Waker version that's performing well. The victory is yours. Because there's, it's. It's pretty non-linear. It depends a lot on the hand size, the cost reduction that you get, and um, a lot of other things in terms of um, like what you do. You can't just play out your cards like you do a normal deck. So it's also fairly new, so people haven't sorted it out yet. Um, I think over time that um, spread will maybe diminish a little bit as it does. GG saw you were streaming. Please don't concede if you queue into me when streaming. I would rather you just. Um, I will prove myself. I'd rather you just leave the chat for a bit and then come back. Since you have Dragon Queen Alexstrasza in deck, can you add the hero power cost one less guy? Good joke. Um, I'm gonna keep the uh, Zephyrus Zola for the... Uh... Oh wait, do you mean the, the two mana card? I mean, I could, but that's an outrageous expectation to have. So no, no, I'm not going to do that. Don't like to deal with it? I mean, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Wayne Bamboozler, thank you for the 100 bits. You know what else is a good joke? My love life. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Yikes. I guess it's fair. Other people don't sign up to play on stream, so if you don't... I want to keep the Bran. And hold this for turn six. They haven't... Oh. Oh, God. Well, I don't think we can win this game. Miss Tira Power. Yeah, it made a big difference when there was no world in which I was swinging last turn. Good job. This is not what we stood for. 
Uh, I do not know how to win this. Feels like it's easier to counter a deck in wild compared to standard. That's not what appears to be the case based on uh, what I hear in Twitch chat. And I generally don't think it's true. Hero power, attack, weapon. Okay. I mean, you're right, but I'm playing against a priest. So... You're talking about things that, again, literally do not matter. So, congrats on being uh, technically right, which is the worst kind of right. I grow impatient. I'm sure, your family is proud. Did you give a shot to the classic thing? Um, I played one game and it wasn't really for me. Guess we just get a Tyrion here. I mean, this is similar to the, um, the ABM Mage matchup, just slower. I don't really have much of a chance here. Need to apply pressure, especially with that um, hit that I got. Wham Bam Boozler, thank you for the underbit. So I never got to play Zephyrus because it, it took a long break from Hearthstone when it was printed and I don't play Wild. But how did you know it was going to be Tyrion? Oh, because it's always Tyrion. <laughs> Um, but in general, I knew it was Tyrion because I was on turn 7 going into turn 8, and he's looking forward to the next turn in terms of what's the highest quality minion for that. Magic. 
We're losing the Xox anyway. Again, I just need to set up a wide board here. And I need to protect the uh, evasive. But we're also just dead to um, spawn. Wow. That's a problem. Yeah, it's also a problem that they're drawing one mana card or four mana cards here. You won the game? That's not what's happening here. Why would you do that? Whoops. I think we're dead next turn. It's the best I can do. If I'm dead here, I lose. If not, um, I've got a really good golem. Ha There's no way they don't have spawn, though. They drew the Kazakus. I don't get it. Darkness speaks to me. They don't have enough health for the spawn triggers. Didn't that give me is that true? I didn't think they were that low, were they? 15, I'm... I've got lethal. Okay. That was confusing. Did they just have like a... A high density of four mana cards? I see later, Mouthness. Like, what was their health total of the turn before we killed them? I didn't think they were that low. Not enough low cost cards? I mean, they got a one pot from Kazakus. They didn't need that much damage to kill me, did they? I suppose that's the only they were at 16 when they renoed. Which is four. Yeah, I I don't know. It must be that their hand was expensive, but Told you you won. I don't think I was in a winning position there. I maintain that. I don't think I should have won. How about that? Back to mages, I suppose. You asked for it. This ends now. It's a decent hand, I suppose. Chris misplayed or just drew poorly? I think it's more likely they drew poorly and they just didn't have the uh, low-cost cards to win. They also might have whiffed. Like, the, a potion could have... A, a one-mana potion could have done a lot of damage there. Um, there's also the issue that, like, they were here powering our minions before and that could have prevented them from being in range of lethal. Uh, I want to get some more death rattles in hand. So I'm just going to smash face. You think old Kazakas or new Kazakas fits this deck better? 
Well, only one of them can be added to my deck. And that's never a question that you should be asking. I guess we lose. I mean, I suppose I could add, like, a uh, Lothab to the deck to give myself a better chance in this matchup, but I'm too stubborn and I don't know what to cut. I'm just going to get out. I think it's probably more fun just to concede to this deck. Wham Bam Boozler, thank you for the hundred bits. There once was a Raffle who, for breakfast, had a waffle, then went to stream on Twitch and talked to chat, which was quite awful. Uh, your words, not mine. But thank you for the 100 bits. Oh. I feel like even with Lothab, the matchup is poor. Yeah, we would need we would need Brand Lothab Zola in order to have a chance. I'm just gonna trust that it's not Reno or not. Uh, um. APM or Miracle. This deck's win rate is going to suck. We've literally lost two games, and it's to the same matchup that we can't win. We have a 70% win rate, so yeah, you're right. Maybe Brdeed Priest can stop mages. I have no idea what words you're trying to say. But in general, Priest has no chance against Mage. With the Concedes, I mean? I know, I understand what you're saying, but even with the Concedes, we've won every game that hasn't been APM Mage. Albatross Priest? No, Albatross Priest has zero, zero chance against that deck. <laughs> again, I'm, again uh, any, any Priest just auto-loses to that deck. I played an Aggro Priest and it auto-loses to that deck. Oh, this is a really hefty hand. Um, I don't think I can keep it. I kind of want to keep the Death Speaker just because it's fun. Right, so I'm going to keep the Death Speaker. Elucy is enough. Sometimes. But generally not. The, the thing about Elucy is you have to draw her before turn 5 when they kill you. And then also they have redundancy in their combo. Can you bait out the Whale Met? There is no Whale Met, unfortunately. So I cannot. Like one tech card against a um, like a combo that doesn't even require all pieces is uh, incredibly unreliable, unfortunately. I drew all my five mana things anyway, so I'm just going to play this to um, play for board here. Draw some more cards. I don't like leaving stuff on their side of the board because of um, the potential for them to buff it. Played a lot of Rena Priest climbing. The only way to beat APM Mage is Elusia not nearly consistent enough. Yeah, I mean Elusia is coming back into the deck specifically for that matchup, but it's it's one card doesn't solve a matchup. Especially with the way that the Waker version is built and the redundancy that it has. Did 
Did the pot of greed card really push APM mage? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, because it can actually gain the mana crystals. Okay, so we know what type of deck it is. That's kind of what I figured. Let's give them more minions to hand buff. Um, the problem is that they potentially get a really good Samuro. It's better than Pot of Greed? Yes, because it can actually ramp as well. I do not have an answer to that, so that's going to get some value. Wow. Uh, I lose. This is this is bad for me. I don't have a board wipe for this. Like there's. There seem to be no board wipe in Hearthstone that clears this, other than I guess Brawl is potentially an out or uh, Shadow Word Ruin. Zephyrus Glide? I don't think Glide is an option off of Zephyrus, is it? I drew all of my good death rattles. Demons. Demons. For next turn. Assuming I draw something playable alongside it, but I just kind of die if I leave that board up. Now I probably want to wait on the glide for the, uh, and the impure fall. bird uh, for the follow-up to this with the uh, Valinar card in hand, right? Oh, Valinar's never going into hand again, is it? Ooh, ooh, oh, we missed the tail end. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't think I have a way to win this. Chaos Nova is never going to be enough. I think that glide was a little bit ambitious. I grow impatient. We're gonna be rich.
kidding. They have it, you know? Unity. Precision. Perfection. You ever play duels off stream? Uh, no, I haven't really. I, <laughs> I between streaming and editing, I think I get more than enough Hearthstone in my life. And buff paladin is a fun deck to play against. It can be. Like, <laughs> chat just hates any deck that is good. The reality of it. I keep the bird just on the off chance that it's Reno Mage. And then this for Secret Mage. I mean, to say that right as I concede to Encanter Slow, but um, again, I generally don't mind that deck. I just literally cannot beat it. I make my own this ends now. Yeah, I don't think we faced one of those decks that didn't have Encanter Slow on too. Every mage draws Flamestar X Fireball. I don't think there's a single mage deck that runs Flamestrike and Fireball in Wild. Can Odd Warrior out armor that deck? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Not at the rate at which uh, it gets online. And, like, the problem with the Odd Warrior is it doesn't do anything proactive, so the deck can do 80 damage pretty easily. Can anything beat that deck? Yeah, a lot of things can beat that deck, just not our deck. Your wish is my suggestion. Just want to ramp to get to the uh, tail end as soon as I can. Hey, Bio. And I figured it was that, but at the same time, I need to get my game plan going, especially with how heavy my cards are right now. Okay, Reno Mirror is a good thing. What are they getting at one mana here? Or are they looking for a four cost card? Didn't really have a follow-up play anyway. So? I mean, I could, uh, Immolation or it, I suppose. This is not what we stood for. But it's not like they can have another Blackjack Stunner. Vengeance 
That's their counter for the um, APM mage. Balin has great theme and animation. He's one of my favorite cards from the core set, to be honest, in large part because of his interaction with Nazaw. Probably just got to go ahead and clear that, right? Do I have any one-cost cards that I would play here? Tusk Piercer. One point of health doesn't matter. I already struck. We whiffed, but that's okay. Say the magic word. Looks like we have similar game plans going. I don't think we die from here. Why not? Hero power and trade to heal plus one. I I thought I explained why. Why not draw first? Um, Because then it would be net neutral in terms of health total because the watch post would buff anyway. But I didn't. I didn't hero power first because I didn't know if I was going to draw the Tusk Piercer, which I wanted to equip that turn. Bastard. Those are not good dragons, unfortunately. Wow. Come, try your oh, God. Ah. Uh, well, fortunately, I can kill that. Uh, I can't get greedy with the Reno here, I don't think. I can bounce the Reno if I want to. Not sure how necessary it is when I kind of feel like it's going to be hard for me to fall behind here. It's reducing their Hanar Valley? Oh my god. What? Such a perfect 
Cool. Hey, Yeet. Thank you. You're welcome. We haven't just tested for uh, evasion yet, which I'm assuming is what's. Uh, Literally the best outcome. Well, sec. Yeah, yeah. They got uh, <laughs> they got rolled by that Vol'jin. Is this deck fun? Um, it can be. Depends on what you queue into. Much as I want to keep the Neth because I love that card, um, probably better to keep the find some uh, Death Rattle minions to go alongside the Razor Fen. Not really these ones, but that's okay. Reno's good to have if this ends up being a Pirate Warrior. Just gonna kill that over maybe a couple turns. I don't want to use the coin if I don't have to. Your wish is my Reno Warrior. Weird. Guess that means we take it slow. We are friends. Hey, we're friends now. Probably dies without getting value. But it's in the Nazoth pool to get value later, potentially. Or not. I beam, please. Uh oh. possible we die here, but I am willing to take that risk. I think I have to coin a Reno, which leaves me on the back foot. That seems like a position I can recover from with the cards in hand. Like the skull in particular is going to be beneficial, as is the uh, tail in into Nazoth. Based on the cards that we've seen, I feel like we have a better late game and have an advantage if this goes long. So I'm just going to trust that that's an accurate assessment of the situation. And we get a board advantage now, so pretty good. This is not what we stood for. Fortunately, we're having a hard time drawing the death speaker before the five cost uh, death rattle, but that's okay. We don't need to get perfect value. I'll take on the 
You'll tickle the lot of us. That's a good draw. Poisonous AoE. All right, I'll go with some bursts since we have the brand. It's actually not a bad thing because now this draws the Neth. And I'm fine with that. Been a long time since I've seen both. really want to give up a brand here. I think I want a brand as I. Although that skull is going to be awkward if I do that, so I might have to just like draw without outcast if I want to go that route. Sure. I have Albatross and Cartoot Defender. I forgot about that too. Geist is a tech card against Jade Druid? No, Jade Druid is not a deck right now. It's a tech card against... Um, the Miracle Mages. Jade Druid didn't die. I mean, it's still a viable deck. It's just like the meta is not kind to it right now. This dies anyway. Maybe I'd do this first. Demons. Demons. And then trade this into the Skulking guys. And this gives us a 5 8.
Oh. Uh, I've got Brand Banker Zola, so I can go infinite as well. Try to keep alive. I think I have a hard time winning if I try that. Oh, they can't even go infinite, right? I think I'm just... Ugh. Grand Banker Zola. And then a Xylator. This is manageable. Even in late game. So I was wrong about having a better late game, but I can go infinite. The dark Adventure and excitement await. Yeah. Gonna be a long match, yeah. I knew that going in, but now we have confirmation on it. Sure. There's the Zai. I just have to draw here. There's no combination. I need to get this away from the outcast slot, and there's no combination of cards that I can't play this turn. get really greedy with Zai. That should uh, seal the late game. That's kind of my plan, yeah. I'm gonna go, but at first I need to go Brand Banker Zola, then I get uh, Zai going. Like, I, I also have to plan for fatigue. Do not confine yourself to mere thinking. It's a good time to draw Zephyrus. Nico, thank you for the 250 bits. Good idea drawing Zephyrus, thank you. That was a good idea. I thought of it all by myself, too. Okay, we didn't lose the banker, so we're fine. We go in infinite? Yep, that's the plan.
grow impatient. Is this a poor dead man's hand? No, it's um, it's Reno. I think this is just good enough. The hesitation was that um, I might overdraw something, but. Because of the uh, tail end, but that shouldn't be the case. What did they Zola? They zola a long time ago, and I've already forgotten what it is. They also have a... This is kind of a bad spot, actually. I need to get these out of hand. Okay, that's what they sold. Now I remember! They've got potentially one more brawl, though. I didn't see what side of their hand that came from. But we do get a 5-8, at least. Probably just rotate the Brand Banker Zola again. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Let's stash that away. Such a perfect specimen. Let's stash that away. Nico, thank you for the 100 bits. Am I crazy or is Bear of Brand or Bear of and Brawl incorrect? Um, I mean, if they didn't, I mean, they, they had a minefield though, so kind of felt that way. But if they didn't have like a follow up to make the Bear of die, they were taking a lot of damage on the backswing. So, yeah, probably need to go in on the Golem here. Only have twenty four. I did that in the wrong order. A blunder. I call the enemy they because I do not know their gender. So I do not know what other pronoun to use other than the neutral they. That was a pretty big miss sequencing. Playing around Super Collider. I didn't even do that very well. Oh my god. Oh well. We still got there. Easy. How many girl players are there? Enough to make a difference. Like, it takes very little effort for me to be as to be inclusive for everyone. So why wouldn't I take that effort, right? 
I I understand that like people that maybe are ESL or um like there may be some confusion because they is also considered plural, but it's also just gender neutral. Like it it, it doesn't take much effort to in, like be inclusive. So why wouldn't I? I think the uh, the original question was coming from a place of good faith. For Doomhammer, this ends now. You know how many female streamers there are that play Hearthstone anyway? About quite a lot. A lot of good ones too. Sniped? Why is everyone saying sniped? Oh, it's just one person spamming it. Never mind. Maybe they succeeded in sniping us, and that's what they're so proud of, proud about. Thank you for being in... There, there are many good female streamers. I mean, it's not just as uh, about being inclusive for female streamers. There are also non-binary folks, so they is kind of a good catch-all for... Everyone. Let's go ahead and clear here. I'm gonna assume it's uh, Big Shaman, based on what we've seen so far. Sure. Doomsayer suggests Reno. I could clear that, but do I care about these? I'm just gonna go in on the Reno assumption here and put some birds in their deck. have um, Skull in my deck, so there's no point in playing that. I do want to deny Dural. The elephants will destroy you, though? True. Big true. I don't know how much I should speak about the cards that are in my hand or like my gameplay strategy if the person is actually in chat right now. So there's that, I don't know. I don't care. If they're that desperate for a win, they can have it. Well, bird. It's a good draw here. Um, I really want to get the skull, so let's get the skull. Alas, poor warlock. There's some good cards to reduce the cost of. I'm 
many well mets have you played against today? Uh, zero. I don't think I've had many um, paladins that are using the default Uther. Jimpa, thank you for the eight months. Bzzz. Nice order. See what we get here first. Hmm. Hmm. I grow impatient. You struggle against the inevitable. I would have liked the uh tail end off of that, but I'll survive. It's a good draw. Not Reno. The volcano is fine. It uh, ramps the Neth, and like I don't really care about this board so much when I have multiple layers of threats. I want to get the Reno just out of play, but we. We can assume it's not Reno. I never understood stream sniping in Hearthstone because even if you do, even if they do see your hand, if they don't draw well, they can't play around whatever you have. I mean, I think in strategy games, sniping is incredibly advantageous. Like, they're working with perfect information. Just because it doesn't guarantee you win doesn't mean it's not impactful. I feel like my health total is perfectly fine here. So I don't really care about Reno being inactive. I did get punished for not playing this first though. I don't have any demons in hand, do I? Have you been stream sniped today? Apparently I'm in the process of it right now, so yes. Kill the most yeah. Well, now I am going to want that healing, right? Thank you for telling me that it is a Shutterwalk deck. I had no idea. That changes. <laughs> anyway. Um, I kind of need to get a Kazakus for a buff here, right? Or even Zephyrus, so I should draw. Demons. Demons, I see. Oh, wait. Zephyrus wouldn't be online anyway. Just need to hope I'm not dead here.
But you get the diamond brucan eventually. Uh, I actually did after the nerfs. I had a surplus of du uh, dust. How are the doggos? They're doing good. Teddy, the uh, the terrier, had a bit of a scare the other day. He has because he's of his breed. He has like breathing issues that, um, like every once in a while, he goes on this wheezing fit, and it's kind of frightening. I find it weird the Brukan was the legendary they chose to make diamond. I would have expected it to be another neutral legendary. I, I don't mind that it's a, a class card. I think people are going to complain about whichever one they chose, no matter what. Why not ditch the double jump? I don't think that there's benefit to doing so. I, I thought about it, but like... I don't know. Glad we got roped out this turn. That sure was fun. Uh, I haven't actually gotten the vaccine yet. It's going to be a shorter stream. I'm going to... Um, it's my appointments in a few hours. So, I will uh, in the future. Here we go. We'll give them the attention they were looking for. But yeah, that was kind of my game plan, Hero. Um, also, I'm getting the Moderna, which I hear has uh, fewer side effects, especially in the um, especially in the first dose. But we'll see. Hey, David. This looks like a pretty decent hand into Pirate Warrior. So, I'll just keep it. Uh, I think it varies from person to person. Some people get side effects in the first dose, some get it in the uh, second, some get it in both, some don't get it at all. It's, uh, as with many health things, it's kind of personal. But uh, I think the second dose tends to be the one that's uh, more likely. And it depends again on which uh, which version you get. And um, I think I've also read that like males tend to have um, stronger side effects than uh, or men tend to have stronger side effects than women, which they're also more likely to get severe cases of COVID. So not sure if it's lifestyle related or just um, something else. So, I'm just going to do what I can and hope for the best. I see. IBM is good here. Uh, do I coin it out? I kind of want to save the coin for the fives because my four is looking awkward. Next turn is always the weapon. It's just going to be hard to play this if I don't play it now, though. So I think I'm just going to have to be comfortable playing a Albatross Hero Power on for him. Yeah, even if I do get side effects, like, I mean, it's worth it to contribute to making things uh, 
Place goes somewhat back to normal. Get closer to normal. Yeah, I think I lose now because I gave up the coin. This is going to get out of range of the uh, Chaos Nova. Probably cost me the game. I think I have to go this route now. Because I need to be able to take the Rokara off the board or it's going to farm me. Ugh. Jeez. Yeah, that's game. I've got no response to this. That Ricaro was rough. Check out that, that. The last two digits in our rank, though, chat. Nice. As gamers, we do our part by staying inside. That's the thing that, like, I don't know, has irked me personally about the the pandemic is that as a global pandemic, it is not just about you. <laughs> and uh, we all need to make sacrifices and be willing to make sacrifices so that people don't die. I didn't think that would be a difficult thing to to sell to people, but apparently it was. And it's the same thing here. Like, it's if I get side effects, that's fine. It's not about me. It's about <laughs> contributing to the end of the global pandemic. Your power is no substitute for true strength. I will prove myself to you. I don't think I need to keep an eye beam. I will keep an Illidari studies and the death speaker. Uh oh. We're losing our upload speed a little bit. Hey, congrats, Bork Bork. Uh no matter what type of priest this is, bad luck albatross is great, so I want to get that down ASAP as possible. I don't think there's value in playing the Illidari studies on one. I might coin this out just to get it dead. Is someone injured? Louise, thank you for the 12 months. Thanks for the fun decks and content. I'm climbing with Murloc Shaman. It's a blast while also being competitive. Also, Murgle. How was my Murloc impression? Did I nail it? <laughs> thank you for that support. For one year. I think there may be better times for the coordinated strike. I need to go fast, and I need this dead soon, so I want to put damage on it. Hey, loser! Hey, loser. Like, I might, since, I, I might look for an I-beam here. Because if this is uh, Reno Priest, this is the turn I need the Albatross dead. Oof. 
These are not the hits I want. I just have to cross my fingers that there's no Raza here. Janae, thank you for the 100 bits. What kind of vaccine did you get? 5 pot or 10 pot? <laughs> Okay. Wait, why would you do that with- there's a bird on board. Opponent did an oopsie. That, um... Like, honestly, the shuffle thing isn't that impactful, but giving us a... I, I don't know. <laughs> they Giving us the uh, the trade is huge. I think a lot of people don't understand the shuffle mechanics. Yeah, I've seen it. I, like, it's happened uh, fairly recently, but I think when I was doing the Weasel Priest deck or something. Inner Fire is in the core set, right? Let's see what we get off of this first. No, I don't actually want to swing here. Because I'm about to play the uh, Dust Speaker next turn. So if I get a Zola, I could go 420. <laughs> nice. That's the sex number. Um, if I get Zola, I could bounce the, the Zeph into uh, Inner Fire. Yeah, Divine Spirit's the one that's uh, Hall of Famed. Yeah. That's alright. Four twenty sex number, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, everybody knows that. Now we punch so that we can get the death said rate. Nope, never mind. 69 blaze it. Yeah, Genevieve gets it. Uh, that is a psychic scream that was generated by shadow visions. So need to keep that in mind. Wow, uh, that was a nightmare scenario for me. Why couldn't this have been the one that died? All right, uh, I do probably want to get the Nazoth down on turn 10 just because of the potential to bring back a bird. Bird is, in fact, the word. That is much less frightening when Raza is not online, so... What's this going to give? Is it going to give me Tyrion? I'll go with Jiraxis. I don't really need my hero power anyway, right? Another tempo enforcer? Yeah, it's inevitable. How many minions have died? Um, not that many because some got shuffled back, right? No, I've had quite a few. Okay, well. 
That is fine with me. That Zephyrus is getting a lot of work, right? That's the second time he's been shuffled in. Bird. Like, this is the only thing that matters is the bird. What if they're running the 5-mana five 5-4 five that draws a card off of a weapon after Jaraxxus? Well, they are running that card because it's in the Zephyr's pool. And um, if they want to draw that many cards, I'm just going to let them. Wow. How is this still stuck at one cost minions? <laughs> I don't think the opponent's uh, winning this game. Just gonna throw that out there. Who was it that said I should run the two drop? Almost an OTK. I mean, we still get the, a Pyroblast if it sticks. Why did you play it? Because it goes face for six damage? What, am I not going to play a Boulder Fist Ogre there? For zero mana? The effect is irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. That's a good stats for the cost situation if I've ever seen one. Hey there, famous wild Hearthstone streamer, get me out. I think I need better early game than Kazakus. I think I need Immolation Aura. Cultist is pretty good. No point in playing this on turn one. Because it's just gonna like shift the outcast card out of the outcast slot, right? Hey, congrats, Eat. Sure. Eight mana Reno. Probably playing the bird next turn anyway. Why do you always call Get Me Out Famous Hearthstone Streamer? Because that's what he is? That's his name? I've seen his birth certificate. Bird. Uh, the I think the meme originates when he was uh, showcased on the front page of Twitch, though. If you want to, like... A real answer to that question. I don't want to uh, hit the redemption.
Oh, that's the worst one for me. Wow. I was really, really counting on that not being, or like being an Omayog or Redemption. Brutal. Weblord is soloing you? The Weblord hasn't really had an effect yet. Like it will in a turn or two. It's more the secrets are soloing me. Power into the top, it would trade into the board. Yeah, like that would have left me with no board. So I would have dealt with the narrow bar, but passed full initiative onto the opponent and still been in a bad spot. Well, I mean, we lose to Oh My Yog. I mean, this is where we start losing to the uh, narrow bars. Both called arms in top half, yeah, with a lot of minions left too. That was uh, brutal. Called arms is good. I think we're gonna be seeing uh, more versions of the deck built that way. I don't know about the uh, the three drop, but like just a straight secret paladin is probably better than um, taxes. I gotta keep the Chaos Nova. I think they're better three drops than a bird. Honestly, I, I'm probably better off into like secret aggro paladin than I am odd paladin as well, than I am into hand buff. Hand buff uh, scales too quickly for me. Eventually I'll get to play a card. I'm probably just running the brand out next turn to soak up some damage. Pretty good opening. I mean, yeah, but they're also running out of resources. And they're board locked, so. So do I just leave them board locked, force them to play the Conviction? Conviction is... Um, Three extra damage, I d they deal 10. I coin a Chaos Nova into Sludge Belcher into Cartoot Defender. Demons. Demons. It's 
also allows me to retain the brand, which I don't think is going to be that relevant, but it will be if I draw an immolation aura because I, then I can immolation into um, um, into brand. I got to clear this turn because uh, I don't want to give them attackers with a I know they have at least one conviction in hand and oof, that's a really good response but Belcher is pretty good the problem is they um I like I would really like to draw immolation aura here mm -mm. I don't know if this is going to be enough because they get um pretty clean attacks with the conviction now for that. I miss lethal. Good top deck after. Like they swung with the weapon, they could have traded the uh, the broom in. So we're probably still dead here, but they they definitely did miss lethal. Never punished, I guess. Uh, I mean, we knew they had both convictions, right? If I had drawn um, Immolation or that game, it would have been a different outcome. But it definitely feels bad to lose after uh, a miss lethal like that. Illithin versus Arthas. It would seem we are evenly matched. Today and forever, I am your better Arthas. I'm getting conflicting reports as to whether or not we're evenly matched. I think I can keep the Gazakas in this matchup with this hand, right? I beam in the outcast slot seems good. Hail and well met. May the light Uh oh. This looks like hand buff paladin, which uh is going to beat me, most likely. Unless I get some really good Kazaka spots. Really wanted a three drop off of that. So I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can coin the death's head. I cannot wait to oh, it's Libram? This may be better for me than uh, hand buff. Silence in my deck. Or 
I have ways to generate silence in my deck. <clears throat> hmm. I don't like playing minions here because it allows them to uh, propagate damage off of the Librams. This passes initiative back to me. At the cost of some mana. Or, or some health, but I can regain that with the uh, Warblades. And the uh, Rotten Apple Bomb, even. This is not what we stood for. I'm going to throw the book at you. Yeah, they're very aware of the fact that I could be running silences. Alas, poor warlock. I need to uh, pitch a card here. I'm going to hold this. It's way too valuable right now. I'm just going to coin a hero power and do nothing. Reporting for duty. Maybe I should have bumped because this draws my dust speaker, but... I'm okay taking it slow right now, I think. I don't know if I can match their value. This is a weird situation where, like, I think they actually have better late game than me. Not used to that. May the light grant you peace. Could be another one of the. Uh, Libram of Hopes, which means I'm going to need to draw Zephyrus in the near future. Ten. really need that Chaos Nova now, don't I? Or Zephyrus. I see. Alright, what am I getting off of Zeph? Brawl? It's just gotta be good enough here. I'm getting out pressured the Black Knight is a consideration. Maybe Zephyrus will even win this. Oh my god, I was kidding. <laughs> Okay. 
Sure. You know, like, that does have some downsides to it. Like, we didn't get an additional tick on our Nethrodama, so really, I should probably be complaining after such a real bad low roll there. And he draws the Reno the next turn. The Reno's irrelevant here. I want to trade off into their minions because they have uh, Librams in hand, right? So giving them minions seems like a mistake. Because they can propagate damage over those. Those are actually 3-3s, three not 1-1s. Uh, one Okay. We lose the Zeph, but they don't have much in the way of hand right now, so. Oh. Did they go in on it? Beautiful. I can silence that now. They've been so careful, too. This adds a lot of cards to my hand. I think I need to empty my hand before I go that route. Eh, let's just get a good 10 pot. And if we whiff on, uh, yeesh. Okay, that's probably good enough. I think that catches us up in terms of uh, layers of threats. Dav, thank you for the $5 tip. Hey, Raffle, I only started playing Hearthstone right before the release of Dark Moon. Right, Watching you has made me fall in love with WoW despite not having all of the past cards. Thank you for the content. Thank you for the generous tip and uh, kind words. Glad you're liking the game. Well then. We seem to be in a pretty good spot here, right? Again, the real problem is I, I've just got like too many cards in hand. I can't even play an Alexstrasza or a Overdraw. Like my life is just so difficult. a lot of value.
We haven't won this game yet, have we? I grow impatient. I can't let them um, have board initiative here. We've got a brand's eye still. I just didn't really want to give up the golem, but I'm not like going to be able to copy the golem anyway, so. What would Uther do? Could have bear off, true, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Wow, they're taking ten. They can't have lethal here. Jeez. Uh, Banker actually matters, so I'm just gonna play the uh, the, the one Onyxia because this is going to crowd my hand, and I don't want to overdraw the uh, the Banker when I might need to protect myself against fatigue. Wait, are they just like surprise OTK? Oh god, they are. All of this value has been for nothing. Wait, do they have... Like, it would have to be tour guide in the last cards of their deck, right? Because all of these are from the... Lanessa. And so, oh. Well, that changes things. I don't know why I didn't see this sooner. I might get Aviana off of this. It's actually kind of a problem. I'm probably dead here though, right? We're just dead to Beardo. It would have had so much value, too. Uh, like, this is just another deck that I have no win condition against, so we just found out a lot slower than uh, we normally would. I, there's nothing I could have changed about that. I have a 0% chance of winning that unless I go full aggro, which isn't really what my deck does.
I haven't seen a warlock in a long time. Your stones shall be mine. This ends now. Did you hold back tempo so many like two turns? Uh where? You're gonna have to be more specific than than that, I think. Hey, GG, Darkwind. I got uh, caught off guard by the uh, the Exodia combo. Was not was not ready for it. Armor, armor, lightly used. Yep. I mean, any number of things. Send your ghost to Nova Lothab? Could have been. But I think I was I think that's less likely than just hoping they don't have the beardo. I'm gonna ramp. Looks like a uh, Reno Warlock. I need to get ahead of their nonsense. Okay, it's uh, not Reno, it's the Control Warlock. It might be the version I was running, which uh, was bad. Like, these watch posts were... Oh, it is Reno. Okay. I mean, these watch posts, in my experience, were bad before the nerf. I've got a Chaos Nova. I don't need to care about that. Death does not scare me. This death rattle goes off first, so it's never going to pull this off. It could hit a Nethrodomus, though, which would kind of be a bummer, but I'm okay with it. I've also got a Zola, so I feel like we're in an okay spot uh, for the... They cleared that for me? We're in an okay spot for a uh, Death Lord death rattle. Uh, this is fine. Oh, let's actually kill that off first. I think I need a 10 pot. Or 10 mana golem. Because I need to have an answer. My problem right now is I don't have an answer to their 10 drops, right? So I need poisonous AoE. Oof. I just need to coin this on turn 9 and try and go face with it, maybe?
bird. Uh, new Kazakas and old Kazakas are very different. They serve different roles in uh, what they do. That's good. I think I can coin in this off now, right? Coin this off and disappear your golem. I don't think that's going to save you, friend. Well. We solved the problem of not having answers to 10 drops by just not letting them get to turn 10. Aren't they supposed to be the same person like old and new Reno? Yep, that's where the similarities end. Well, that and their cost and stats, but like they... Just because they're the same person doesn't mean they do they do the same thing. All right. I think I'm going to call it there. Um, like I said, I've got a vaccination appointment. I've got things that I need to take care of before then. So thank you all for watching. I will be back in a couple of days on Monday. I do have a few things planned for next week as well, so stay tuned for details on that. Hey, thanks, famous Wild Hearthstone streamer. Get me off. Let's see, who is streaming? Not a lot of people, like, in general, it would seem. All right, looks like Martian is live. We're playing a deck similar to uh, one that he hit Legend with, so... Uh... Oh. Well, if you want to go live, Famous Wild Arson streamer, get me off. I can delay for about 15 seconds, but that's it. Okay. I'm still eating? Oh, yeah. We don't want to hear you chew. <laughs> hey, GG, Ray. Managed to uh, sneak up on you a little bit, but uh, that was a fun game. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I'll see you in a couple days. Hang out with Martian. And I'll see you next week.